Michigan 34, Maryland 27. And, man, uh, I just I didn't see this one coming. Uh, especially when Michigan kicks off, there's a fumble, and then Michigan scores like three seconds into the game. Yeah, didn't see this one uh, ending up coming down to just a touchdown, right? Uh, especially considering that Michigan's offense, you know, played relatively well. Uh, I thought that their defense did not look very good at all. Uh, when you when you look at the stats over at Game on Paper, it, the EPA per play, like Maryland was pretty good there. Success rate, 79th percentile yesterday. 48% success rate for Maryland. Uh, yards per play, 5.44. Like, they they were able to have success against Michigan. That That doesn't bode well. Now, obviously, Michigan is going to play Iowa next week, so they have time to get things figured out. But I, I'm trying to figure out what the narrative is here. It, it, are we looking at a Maryland team that is rapidly improving, or has Michigan come back down, right? And obviously, I think that Michigan is coming back down a little bit because, I mean, last year was just, that's so tough to attain again. But when you look at it, I mean, it's it's pretty crazy that this is a team that Michigan has just throttled year after year after year. Does it mean that Michigan, who was up here, is coming back down a level? Or that Maryland, who was down here, is coming up a level? Like, is Maryland going to be competing with Penn State? And et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Mick Stevens jumps in. You can bet that Texas is not returning to Lubbock. It agreed. Agreed. Like, there are, there are some games that they might try and find a way to schedule. Lubbock ain't going to be one of them. You can forget that. You can forget that. Uh, but as far as Michigan goes, I, I look at J.J. McCarthy, and I wonder how much of this was, like, just a shock to the system of, hey, we're actually playing an actual FBS football team, like a competent team that actually has threats. I wonder if that's part of it. Because this was... This was different. This was weird. So, eh. I mean, I, I look at this and and I do question a few things, right? I, I do question, like, why were they not able to put up more points? Or why was their defense not able to get a stop when they needed to? Like, it was just a, a strange overall day because it, they trade field goals, and it's just back and forth, back and forth early. Uh, 82 Atlantic, do you think Michigan got complacent for playing three preseason games in non-con? Yeah, that's that's basically what I'm saying is when you played teams that did not offer any kind of threat, right? It was uh, Hawaii, UConn, and I forget the other one, but oh, Colorado State. It, three of the worst teams in FBS this year. There was never a chance that you were going to lose those games. If you, and I don't know that it's necessarily complacency, is that you're now seeing something that you haven't seen, right? The, the only thing close to this is what you actually see in practice. In, in practice, it, it's just not quite the same. Uh, Trevor Shackelford, a lot of missed holding calls in Maryland, uh, on Maryland in that game. Made me laugh when they showed the zero penalties graphic. But always, uh, or anyway, Terps got a good offense. JJ made a ton of mistakes. I think just surviving this one is, is good, right? Uh, JJ McCarthy is still learning. On the job. He's still figuring this thing out. So I don't know that we're, you know, I, I don't know that this is a bad situation. I think next week against Iowa is going to be very interesting for McCarthy in that defense. Uh, well, excuse me, J.J. McCarthy's offense against that Iowa defense. Iowa's defense is legit. They are absolutely legit. They can bait you into stuff that you don't want to do. We're going to see if he throws a bunch of picks, etc., uh, because that that could get very questionable very quickly. Uh, 18 out of 26 for 220 yards and two touchdowns for J.J. I mean, it wasn't awful. Uh, Talia Tungvaloa, two interceptions in the game. Like, you you knew that that was... <laughs> you knew that was coming. Uh, because he, he does believe that he can thread the needle on every single throw. Like, every single one of them. Uh, but yeah, that was... Just a, a weird, weird game because I expected Michigan to blow them out of the water, uh, and they were not able to do that at all. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. 
and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.